The cover of Tudor Sports summing up beautifully. The Martian makes Juve fly. He was 28 inches off the ground. Oh, that's a lot. When he added that, uh, pretty impressive. And even surprised himself when he was told about it after the game. Seriously, I jumped that high. I didn't realize that. I've had problems with my knee for a month, but that has gone now, and I feel good physically. You think? Thank goodness. <laughs> Did this impress you, Stevie? It's happening so fast. Yeah. And for him to be able to do what he did with the leap and the whole thing, and then actually adjust right at the end to put it in the back of the net is just phenomenal. Who could jump highest in their day out of you three, do you reckon? <laughs> I don't know why you, well, so I don't know why you keep well, asking well, the well, obvious well, questions. It's well, an obvious well, answer. He's, he can use his hands, so there's going to be one. Right. And then I think I can out jump Ali. <laughs> I don't think, I, I, don't think I can hit the deck quite as quick I as Ali. I am but I can deceptively get up. athletic. <laughs> I am deceptively athletic. Deceptively oh. athletic. Oh, dear. So, uh, Sid, does Ronaldo still make the headlines? I imagine he does when he does things like this, doesn't he? Yeah, and of course, bear in mind that Ronaldo did this last night on the night in which Real Madrid didn't score in the Clasico, in which Real Madrid played very well and didn't score in the Clasico. And there has been a lot... Uh, of coverage of Ronaldo since he left and a lot of coverage has been focused on that idea that imagine if Ronaldo was still here imagine if Madrid were playing this well and had a guy on the pitch who could put the ball in the net right then Jules is he back is Ronaldo back to his best of course he's been good hasn't he since December 1st scoring goals for fun I think you said he was over, didn't you, at some stage? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. But he was injured. And I think he said that. Do you remember we all had that controversy when he went away with Portugal and having been subbed off twice by, uh, by Mauricio Sarri after just an hour of, of, of a couple of games in a row, one in the Champions League and one in the league as well. And for him to do that when he was 34 is quite incredible. There's, there's, I think there was a game with Real Madrid against Manchester United where he jumped even higher than that. Uh, to score a goal a few years ago, but to still do that at 34 is pretty impressive. And the fact that he's fully fit now, that's what that's the difference between the stats and the goals and the performances he has now compared to the one he has last month where he was clearly not fully fit. You back, Stephen? Uh, I would have to say yes, I. You know, um, the guy clearly, when he's not at his best, drops a level, and mm. it's very obvious. And so we have to point that out and say that there's something wrong with this guy. Um, they're saying it's an injury. We don't know that, but there's a problem. But to do what he did tells you that physically there isn't a problem. And yeah. then the numbers back up as well that physically he is back to his best, which means, yes, he's back. When he's jumping out of the stadium like this, <laughs> I don't, I don't want to hear anything about this niggling knee thing or hamstring or calf or whatever. Uh-uh. When well, you're that, doing that this... That excuse is gone, right? Yeah, yeah that's, <laughs> that's, that's it. it. Yeah. That's out the door. You don't jump like that unless you're right physically. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.